Hey everyone, this is Happy Teach. I am here with another quick tutorial um, that was requested. All right, so today's tutorial is on how to change your logo and make it grayscale. Um, and that one's pretty easy. So I have this color logo here. And all I'm going to do is I want to go ahead and make sure everything is unlocked. And so I'll look at my layers panel, um, layers panel, and I see that I don't have anything that is locked. Okay. So the next step I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my edit menu and then I'm going to go down to edit colors. Then I'm going to choose the grayscale option, which is convert to grayscale. Now, if I do this now, I'm going to change my entire um, logo. And I don't want to do that. So what I'm going to do first is create another artboard. And I'll just make it like this. OK. And then I'm going to duplicate this. So I'm holding option on my keyboard because I'm on a Mac. If you're on a PC, you would hold Alt. And what you're looking for is this dual arrow. You see how it's the black arrowhead and the white arrowhead? Go ahead and drag that over to your new artboard, OK? All right, so now that I have that on the artboard, I'll put the focus on that one, OK? And so what I want to do, again, is I'm going to select my artwork. I'm going to go up to Edit. I'm going to go down to edit color and I'm going to go to convert to grayscale. And when I do this, it's going to change this logo to a grayscale version of the logo. Um, the thing is, this actually should work on most backgrounds, but there are times when it doesn't. So if I wanted to change this to an all white logo and also give an all black option, I would do that through, let me move this over. I'm going to click on this. Um, but I will tell you with this type of logo, I think the best option is uh, grayscale. But let's go ahead and make a new artboard. Okay, let's go ahead and hold that alt again. We're looking for that double-sided arrow. I got it. And I'm going to bring this over here. Oops. You know what? I bought the whole artboard. That's OK. So I'm going to bring this over here. <clears throat> um, and then I can manually make changes if I want. So what I would do is I'd make a temporary background. So let me go ahead and go ahead. And, and so what I'm going to do is make the white logo. So I'm going to make this background black, although gray doesn't hurt but I'm just gonna make it black I'm gonna move this to the back so either I'm gonna go to my layers panel and bring it all the way down or I can use a shortcut key which we'll use next time I'm gonna go ahead and bring this all the way down and just grabbing that layer dragging it down to the bottom and now I want an all white logo so what I can do is I can change um, this circle to be or I can change everything that's that color uh, everything that I want to be black, I will make. Oh, no, I said this is all white. Never mind. Everything that I want to be white, I'm just going to go ahead and change it to white. Um, I am losing that stroke a little bit. Um, as you can see, let me see. Oops. Make it white. Make the stroke white like it should be. Not the fill. OK. OK. And then in my case, I used an appearance. So let me go to my appearance panel and change that stroke. You see that stroke is gray. I'm going to make that stroke white. All right. And then. And then what I would do is I would make 
this fill white and I'm gonna lose my letters. That's okay. I'm going to make them kind of look like a cutout and these will be the parts of the areas that are negative. So wherever my letters are, I'm gonna make them black. And then I would even make, in this case, a stroke black. Okay. So it kind of looks like it's negative against that, um, against that black background. So also with my circle, my center circle, I want to make that black. So everywhere that I have, uh, let me, there we go. Um, for this one, I'm going to make the center black. So that's this stroke. Okay. And so then that will be the black version of my logo without losing any of the integrity I have. You can see I have the stroke here. I Now there is a stroke on here that if I wanted to make the one part white and one part black, it would look like this and I'll show you. Um, but that's up to you um, as the designer to decide uh, how you want to handle that. But let's just see. So the letters, I could make this stroke of the letters white. Okay, and it would look like that. Or I could go in reverse and I could have the letters white with the stroke black. And then that's how it would look. So whichever look you like that's going to work with your design, that's the look um, that you'll want to go for. Because what's going to happen is we're going to remove that black background and you're not going to see any of your areas that are white. But when you go put it against a black background, this is how it's going to look. And that's why you want to have that background behind it, the temporary background, because you want to see how this is going to look on darker colors. So whichever look you like best, if you like the stitched out look, then that's the look you'll go for. Or if you want to reverse it, you just go down here and click on the reverse and it'll reverse it so you can see uh, which look is going to work for better for your design. Um, I kind of like, let me see which one I like better. I like this one better because it, I don't know. You know, it's hard. I don't know. I don't know which one I like better. But I do know that when I do the white, I would do the, I mean, the black one, I would do the opposite. So, yeah, I think I'm going to keep it like this. Um, Yeah, I'm indecisive, so that would be a hard decision for me. I think I'll keep it like this. Yeah, I'll keep it like this. All right, and so then, um, but that's that's pretty much how you would go about uh, making those changes. You're going to want that stroke to be white because you want it to show up against that black background so that they can see the um, shape that's within it. Same here. And then you have this one here where I made them both white. But what you also could do um, is, let me show you another option. So we can make this inside black, right? And then we can make the outside white. And then you have um, this look right here. And then you could go opposite with this one. See, so you have a lot of options that um, it's up to you as the designer which one you think looks better. And if it lets me grab, there we go. Um, and then you could, with this one, you could go opposite where you can make this white and then you can make your, um, in the appearance panel, you could make one of these strokes black. So I could go here. Although if you do the outside stroke black, that's not gonna make sense because it's not gonna be seen. So I would take, I would do this one. I would do my inside stroke black and my outside stroke would be white. Um, so there's an option if you choose that option, but the issue with this one 
is now you have, well, it's not really an issue. It's up to you how you like to look. Um, I think I prefer to have the inside of this white. Yeah, I prefer to have the inside of this white. And then, um, yeah. yeah, that's what I'm going to go with. Um, and then I kind of have uh, the similar look in white. So this is how you would make it look against a white background. Sorry, a black background. This is your grayscale version. Um, you could end it right here. However, I still want to show you how um, we would make a it against a white background if we wanted other options. But this one right here actually would work. This one would work on, let me show you. Let me, I'm going to borrow this temporary background for a second. This one would work if you just do the grayscale option. Um, it'll work against a white background or a black background. If I change this background to be white, it's going to work against either one. So if you find a grayscale that you like, just stick with that one. Um, if not, then you'll make the black and white versions. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and make another one. I'm going to my artboard tool. I'm going to hold my Alt or Option. I'm going to bring this out and I'll make the white version of this. Okay, don't forget to get rid of those temporary backgrounds though. Okay, so for this one, I'll make the background white. And I'll get rid of the stroke. I know the stroke on the other ones, but it doesn't matter because it's temporary. Okay. So here is against a white background. So what I have to ask myself is how do I want this to show? So what I want to do is I'm going to make the inside white. I'm going to make the outside stroke black. Okay. I'm going to make this circle. I'm going to make that um, outside black. I'm going to make the inside. Yep. Nope. I like the stroke white okay and then i have choices i could actually leave it like this if i want but i don't so i'm gonna click here and i'm gonna go with the opposite i'm gonna make the um the stroke on this one i want it to be white and then for this particular one i have an appearance panel so i'm gonna go to my appearance panel you might not have an appearance panel, so that's okay. You don't have to worry about that. So I'm going to make this outside stroke black. Okay. I mean, you might not have done your center appearance panel with the double strokes and all that, so it's no big deal. Okay, and then I'm going to make the... I actually like this, but I'm going to see what it looks like in reverse. Yeah, no, that works. So, and then this is just how I would make the white version. Um, and the last thing I would do just so I could keep track of everything is I would name my artboard. So I can click here and I would just name the artboards in the artboard options. And I can name this one color. Sorry, my grandson is here. So if you hear him in the background, that's what's happening. But we're actually really just done with this. This is pretty much maintenance. And then you would just name your different artboards. It's like this is artboard two. I could say gray. Hold on. Hold on. He wants to say hi. Say hello. Okay. He said hi. Okay. And then I'll hit here and I would change this one. This is my class. Mm hmm. And I would change this one to white. And then. Okay, hang on, baby. Hold on, hold on. And I would change this one to black. Okay, mm -hmm. I'm changing the names. So that's pretty much it. That's how you would change it from the color if you want grayscale, um, white, and black. So that's how you would change the logo. Hopefully this helps you out. If you have any questions, please like, comment, um, subscribe. And I will try to clear up any issues that occur. All right. Until next time, ta-ta for now. Ta-ta, ta-ta.